G'day folks. I think um, it's safe to say we've had a little bit of rain uh, because the aquaponics is overflowing. This bed here has the bell siphon out of it and I'm about to take the bell siphon out of the large bed over there but I thought I'd give you a bit of a gander. Um, I have no idea how much rain we've had other than what's in that bucket over there. So that's a um, 10 litre or about a two gallon bucket. Um, so yes, we have had a fair amount of rain. The um, fish themselves don't seem to be too concerned. I think they want some food. Um, but yeah, we're, we're definitely having a few issues um, with the amount of water in the system and I dare say the nutrients will be um, yeah, knocked down a little bit as well. So I might just um, take that bell out and we'll toss some feed in for the fish. So the bell's out. So we'll pop some feed in for the fish. I'm not going to give them their full amount today because I have a feeling I'm going to have to buffer the pH a fair bit with all the rainwater that's come in. So, uh, you hungry fella? Yeah, they're hungry. The fish are all looking pretty good. We have seen one or two that had little uh, marks on them like they've um, been hit by Mr. Bully again. But, um, yeah, they've pretty much well healed up. And the fish look pretty happy. We've been just out here feeding a few times a day. Instead of feeding just twice a day, we figured if we, um, because Bianca's on a bit of a break now, if we feed them multiple times a day, um, maybe it'll stop some of the buoying we were seeing. So, sorry if it's getting a bit windy. I don't have my mic today. I don't know where it is. It's upstairs lost somewhere. Yeah, calm down, fellas. It's already wet enough. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way these guys are going. Obviously, not a lot is going on with the uh, painting of the house. Uh, all the painter's stuff is still under there. And, um, yeah, I dare say it's going to be a very wet weekend and they should be back on uh, Monday to do the rest of it. Um, so, I'll just to let you know as well, this is only going to be a short video and I will be putting this one up on YouTube. Uh, just letting you know that um, around about midnight tonight um, there will be a video posted, Australian time of course, um, there'll be a video posted on um, cutting open the sweet potato that we harvested from the uh, bathtub bed there the other day. Just going to brave the wet here and take the, um, the bell, oh, I forgot to put the cap on, the bell out of this bed as well. And um, yeah, hopefully that will store a little bit more water in there. My main concern is I'm having um, fluctuating pH readings. So it's sitting around about um, 6.4, believe it or not, yesterday. It was sitting around about 6.7, 6.8, but fluctuating between the two. So I'm pretty much all putting that down to the fact that the rain has a lower pH. Obviously there's no carbonates in the rain, one would hope. Um, so yeah, it's not buffering the system at all. So what I will do is, I will mix up some hydroxide. So I did say I was going to add um, some calcium hydroxide, or cal hydrox, <laughs> to the system. But this stuff here only raises the pH up, it doesn't add much alkalinity. Whereas this stuff here, potassium bicarbonate, um, does definitely um, add some alkalinity to the system. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set the camera up on a tripod and I'm going to add um, two scoops of this under every inlet. So all I'm doing is putting in a couple of scoops worth of the potassium hydroxide, uh, potassium hydroxide, potassium bicarbonate. I would never ever put in this much potassium hydroxide and do some damage to the fish. Uh, just pop it in there and then just let it dissolve in the water. And uh, just quickly while I'm standing here, um, talking about the uh, sweet potato before, see this vine here? This vine here belongs to the sweet potato that was living in the pouch. So I have a feeling that that sweet potato has set down roots in the media within the bathtub. So I have a feeling it's looking rather healthy too. I'm going to have to do a little bit of an investigation when things dry up a bit and see what's going on in there because we might actually get some more tubers out of that harvest. You never know. So just to show you, we have that bed on top of the sump tank overflowing now and we have the two other beds blowing straight into the sump and that's how much freeboard I have from the top of that water to the bottom of that large 90 mil pipe there on the right that's how much freeboard I have left 
before this starts overflowing again. And I last topped this up on the weekend on Sunday and today is Friday. So I dare say we've had numerous hundreds of litres of water in the system. Uh, just being collected basically from the grow beds here. And the bathtub, the large one, uh, that's about two by one metre and the other one by one metre uh, bed out there. So we have collected a lot of water. That's why the pH has fallen and I dare say we will be um, needing some more nutrients for the plants. Uh, not so much nitrate. I don't think much of that would be washed out. But I definitely think some of the other elements are um, maybe um, diluted even further. Um, so yeah, I'll be looking at doing an adjustment sometime next week. It's getting a bit gusty, so I thought it best I grab at least some sort of microphone. So sorry if the audio is a bit dodgy now, folks. But yeah, I did think it would be a good idea to explain as to why I do like to have a bicarbonate on hand, especially the potassium. Not only is it giving extra potassium to the plants that require it, because there's not a lot of potassium makes it through from the fish food to the beds, Sorry, fish. Um, and yeah, it, it just holds the alkalinity up, which helps to keep the pH up a little bit longer. Uh, the calcium hydroxide, I pretty much will use that every day. Uh, whenever I feed, I bump the pH up a little bit with that because the nitrification process does require some alkalinity um, in the conversion. So uh, yeah, I actually wasn't going to make this a public video. I had uh, Hucho from Hucho's Hydroponics up at Gimpy link down below. Um, he has asked the question before, uh, what do you do with the, your nutrient levels when you get a large rain event like this? And this is definitely a large one, so I thought it would be a great example to uh, publish here to YouTube for everyone to suss out. Um, just quickly, I've been very busy this week working on the uh, PDFs to go alongside the modules in our online interactive guide, so folks can download them and read them when the internet's not working. Um, so uh, I was planning to get one or two uploaded today, but looking at the, I've started with the chop and flip IBC build. I've actually made it quite extensive. Um, so it, it's going to be uh, probably next week before I get that one uploaded for you folks who have already purchased the guide. I've also seen a lot of people ask, uh, because of the price rise in the guide, if they have to pay extra to still have access. No, you don't. Um, the same as once I upload anything else like these PDFs, um, you still get access to them. So it will be going up in the future and uh, Retrieve have suggested the 1995 mark. But don't worry, that won't be happening for a while. I want to get all these PDFs um, created and uploaded in there and jam pack as much content into the um, guide as it stands at the moment. So you guys get a decent bang for your buck. And a lot of that content, um, like the chop and flip um, instructions that I'm writing out now, that will be also used in the aquaponics book. So in a way, I'm working on two things at the once at the moment. So I'm staying very, very busy. That's basically what I've been up to and what's been happening with the system this week. Uh, don't forget, there will be that uh, sweet potato video coming to the channel uh, later on tonight. I'm probably going to kill myself in the algorithm by posting this one now, but who cares? Hope it does help you folks out. Um, but yeah. I'll stop nattering on. I do hope you folks are all well and happy and are enjoying this rain if you're in southeast Queensland. And I will catch you all later on tonight. Cheers, folks. Have a top one. Here we go. Put the last of it in and then they get me. <laughs>